I'm Brick Road. Let's play Adventure for the Atari 2600. And I'm going to tell you guys something that my YouTube channel, the big theme, is kind of uh, games from my childhood that I've enjoyed playing and have played a million times. And you can literally not go further back into my gaming history than Adventure. This is quite literally the first video game I can remember playing. I This is it. And this is kind of the... Um, platonic ideal of video games in my head is you have a little guy and he moves and he picks up items and the, the game is so pure and so simple it really is a metaphor for for childhood and for, for yearning for earlier simpler times uh, the goal of the game is to find the Holy Grail and return it back to the Yellow Castle that's all you have to do uh, there's three castles there's three keys there's three dragons this is I mean if you've never heard of this game you owe it to yourself to Learn something about gaming history and read up on it because Adventure has a great story behind it and how it was created and why it was created. And that was the first variation of the game. That was the easy variation. We're going to do a little. Div oh, Bat stole my sword. That's okay because I can carry the bat. Ha 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 Variation 2 is a little trickier because it has more mazes and the items are further spread out and the whole world is actually bigger and right now I'm just looking for dragons there should be I believe a green dragon running around here somewhere and I do not see him because I would like to stab him in the face alright you know what this is not gonna work I will just uh, deal with the dragons as they come so you can you can go bat batty okay so I need to get first of all I'm gonna open up the yellow castle and here's a little bit of adventure strategy is that bat likes to pick up items and like just drag them around the world and he's really annoying so if you leave items you don't need like that yellow key uh, if you leave them laying around in the world kind of gives the bat something else to um, something else to play with so he's not always antagonizing you a hundred percent of the time is really annoying and yeah see you later I don't really need you here oh you know what though I do need this white key I bet that bat will pick up the white key that I need and oh you Bastard! Dang it! I needed that key. Um. Okay, so. Urg. Oh, there he is. Come here. Yes. I only need the white key for a second, dude. Like, I just need to open up the white castle, and then I'll let you go and run around. So, a lot of variation to an adventure is remembering where you've left items in case you need to go back and get them, and running down this stupid bat because he really does um have a bad tendency to. Oh, is that, was that a dragon? Was that a green dragon? Can I open this door? Oh, almost. Oh, I can't get the key on the door. No, and the bat flew away. And now I'm stuck outside the white castle like a chump. That <laughs> white castle. Cheeseburgers. What the hell? Hey, you know what? Okay, there was a magnet there, but the bat decided to trade it for a key. So, you know what? You can... I'm going to open that grate and leave that key there. Now I need this uh, bridge. Dragon! Yeah, let's not get eaten by the dragon. Um, run from the dragon. He's in the maze now, but you know what? I do have a sword up here. There are three dragons. Green dragon, yellow dragon, red dragon. Their names, according to some documents that I have seen online but have never really read firsthand, are Yorgle, Grundle, and Rindle, if you can believe that. Sword. This is what I'm looking for. Yes. Still where I left it. Good, good sign. Um... The dragons, of course, are famous for looking like ducks. They've been called duck dragons and bird dragons and things. And they appropriately have a... S I need that sword! What is your problem, man? Uh, how am I going to kill a dragon without a sword? Answer, I'm not. Oh, why did I drop that magnet? I could have used that to get that bridge out of the wall. Okay, and the bat just carried the bridge away. I need the uh, I need a bridge in this white castle in order to get the black key. <laughs> okay, um, that was fun. Here's what happened, and you can hardly see because the game's flickering real bad because there's so many items on the screen. But the magnet is sitting over to my right, dragged the sword underneath it, and then the dragon impaled himself on the sword. That's awesome. That was just. That's one of the things I love about this game, just completely, uh oh, completely random awesomeness. I'll leave this in here where I need it, and now I can 
get my sword. Oh no, I can't get the sword back because. Um, yeah, I don't know where it is. It looks like the yellow dragon will leave me alone for a second, so I only need to be in here for a moment anyway. Um, <laughs> but that's one of the beautiful things about this game, is just the crazy situations it throws at you sometimes, and it's a great uh, example of how simple rule sets in video games can often lead to very unpredictable and very fun results. Like, you don't need to make an incredibly complicated and fun game from scratch. Sometimes just putting simple rules in place and letting them do their thing is all that you need to do. And that's kind of how adventure works. And you see this principle in games today, except now we call them sandbox games, you know? It's like when it comes right down to it, there's not really a lot to games like Grand Theft Auto, etc. But now I need to remember my way through this maze. Uh, oh! Red Dragon! Crap, I got eaten by the Red Dragon. I'm in his belly now. How do you like that? But you know what? I can just reset the game and, uh,. It actually won't move the items around anything. Any dead dragons will come back to life, but all I need to do is get that cut back home and I win. But yeah, even games like Grand Theft Auto is just b based on a few simple, very simple rules. You can steal cars, you can shoot cops. That's pretty much all you can do in that game. And it's all you really need to be able to do. Uh, yeah, I need to bring a sword to deal with that dragon. Where's my sword at? Come on, people. Work with me here. Now all the dragons are alive again. That's not good. Um, how do I get to that sword? I believe it's stuck underneath that magnet. We'll find out here in a second. As soon if I can figure out how to get around there. Yeah, this maze kind of doesn't make logical sense. Like it doesn't fit together very well. That's the sword. That's what I need. Yes. I'm gonna go see a man about a dead red dragon corpse. That's what I'm gonna do. Back up through the blue maze. And I have the blue maze memorized, and then that little, like, tricky dark maze, that orange one memorized. And then the white castle is kind of not even a maze, but this black castle, I don't... I always kind of have to just feel my way through the uh, black castle, because I don't have it... No, I tried this. I tried to stab you. Um, how did I was still holding the sword? Apparently. Oh, you know what? I got the cup down there on that screen now, so I'm gonna just cheese my way to a victory. Victory cheese. That's my motto. That's not my motto. What am I talking about? As a kid, though, it's like I could never wrap my head around the second and third variations. And keep in mind, this is like back in, I'm talking like early, early 80s. I'm not even talking about like my childhood. I'm talking about like my infanthood. Hey, you were supposed to be up there in the next screen up. Man, I hate that red dragon. Now my sword is up there, too. So not only is he guarding the the Holy Grail, he's actually guarding my sword, too. I know what you're thinking. Brick Road, that sword isn't a sword. It's just an arrow. That's why it didn't work. No, that's what swords looked like in Atari graphics. I'm just telling you, they're awesome. <laughs> this is not going very well for me. Uh, I don't have any way to get that sword, and luring that dragon out of there is not going to be very simple either. Hmm. The yellow dragon actually moves slow, and I think the green dragon moves slow as well, but the red dragon moves at the same speed as your little man does. And yes, that's a little man, not a little square. Use your imagination! Yeah, he sucks. Um... Now I'm lost in the Black Castle maze. This is less than ideal. Okay, I'm not lost, I guess. I can just... Would you please follow me down here? Oh, oh, I got it! Yes, yes, yes! Ha <laughs> ha! See you assholes later. You duck dragons, you pieces of garbage. I got your holy grail, and I'm gonna take it back to my yellow castle, and it's gonna be awesome. And the whole world's going to flash in celebration of my majesty. That's right! Ah, good stuff. 
One more game variation. It's the same world as variation two, except now all the items are in random places. That's a bizarre place for the bridge to start out, and I will need that bridge. Ooh, black key. Um, so really, you can't... Me oh, there's the white key. You can't really memorize your path through game variation three. Just kind of every time you load it up, it's going to be a completely different game. And sometimes it'll be very, very easy. And sometimes it'll be very, very hard, like when you've got dragons chasing you like that. My goodness, no! No! I don't even want to think about it. But I got the, uh... Black Castle open. Did I get the Black Castle open, or did I run off because I got saw dragons and got scared? I better make sure. Because when the bat starts dragging these keys around... And the worst thing is when, like, you're carrying... Okay, you're carrying a key. Yeah, I opened it. Okay, I'll just leave that here. I'll just take a peek in the black castle real quick. Oh, cool! Uh, green dragon impaled himself again on the sword. That's the second time he's done that this game. You know what then? Dragon Slayer time. You're dead, and where's the other one? I better get it from over here. And you're dead. No more dragons. Ever! Screw you guys, I'm going home. Yeah. That was very fortuitous, actually. Um, I will just poke my head. I think there's only four screens in the Black Castle. And I'll just poke my head into each of them and kind of check them out. And make sure there's not, like, a Holy Grail sitting on any of them. No, does not seem to be the case. Now, when you put items on the screen, the more items are on the screen, it starts flashing. When you're only carrying one item like this, it's fine. This screen, there's two items because the dead dragon does count in an item. And this screen here, you'll see it's flashing even though I'm only carrying one item. That's because there's an invisible item on it, which we will deal with later. The worst thing in the universe is when you're carrying an item you need, such as a key or something, and um, the bat comes along and grabs what it is you're carrying, and then leaves a live dragon in its place. The bat can carry live dragons. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that just messy? But it's true, and I don't like it any more than y'all do. I haven't seen the bat show up yet. Sometimes I think the bat gets caught, like, off-screen, kind of outside of the play area somewhere. I'll leave that there. He's got the cup! What did, where did you get that? Did the bat start out inside the castle? That is... <laughs> that is bizarre! Okay, you know what? I'll take it. Oh, no, I won't take it because I don't have a yellow key. Uh, will you take the bridge away? I don't really need the bridge. That's not going to do me any good. I do need the bridge, because the yellow key will probably be in the white castle. Okay, so... Oh, you know what? There's this little area over here I haven't checked. Ah, oh, there's the... You asshole! Ah. Okay, he took my key... I needed the yellow key, I found the yellow key, and the bat freaking ran off with it. You know what? I'm not upset. I'll just deal with it. I, ca I can live with it. Not a big deal. Breathe, Brick Road. <sighs> now I wanted the bridge. I wanted to take the bridge up there. But you know what? I'll go unlock the yellow castle. And then he'll probably fly off with my <laughs> holy grail. Because, <laughs> like I said, the bat sometimes get gets caught like off screen and... There, that, that works. And I'll leave him inside this castle. Maybe he'll just get stuck there. That's fine. And when he gets caught off screen like that, he'll stop up here. And that can be very problematic if last time you saw him, he was carrying an item that you now need. Right now, the item I need is the bridge. Take it up into the black castle. And I just have to remember how to get through this part. I think right here. Oh, it's stuck in the wall now. What? Well, that's less than ideal. Oh, there's a no. There's a magnet over here. I can I can fix this, guys. I can fix this. I screwed it up. But I thought there was a wasn't there a magnet over here? There it is. How did it end up over there? That don't make no sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I fixed it. Um, let's kind of put the magnet somewhere where. Come here, you. Yeah, let's put the magnet somewhere where it's not going to bother me. There we go, right there. Okay. 
The bridge is kind of unwieldy because it's so large and because it has to be in a very specific place in order for it to work. It's got to be... You've got to be able to see both sides of it. Okay, now I'm in this little tiny room here, and I just picked something up. It's a dot. That's kind of bizarre, having a dot. And... But you'll see. You'll, you guys will love this. This is going to be great. And there's like a bunch of old fogies like me, like 30-year-old dudes who played Atari back when they were babies, and they're all smiling right now because they know what's coming, and it's going to be great. You can, you can see the little dot that I'm carrying against the wall there. It's just a little gray dot. But this gray dot is possibly the most important item in Adventure. And you will see why. I'm just going to go ahead and plop the dot right down here. And then I need another item. It doesn't really matter what item. I believe I left a white key over here. Oh, I can't get the white key. It's in the wall. What's laying around that I can pick up? And where's that bat? That bat's probably still stuck in the castle with another key. I just leave the dot there for now. Hey, there he is. Yeah, he's just stuck there. <laughs> I'll leave him there. I don't even care. I'll go back up to the black castle. I got a bunch of stuff laying up in there. I got a bridge and a magnet. Possibly the trickiest part of the game... Oh, here's a sword. I'll use that. Possibly the trickiest part of this game is learning how to get around the you can only carry one item at a time thing because... I mean, your... Intuition is telling you you want to carry the sword at all times. Oh no, now things are flashing on the screen. Actually, I might need to bring one other item here. This is I've still got the little dot down there. You can still see it, yeah. Um, but if you carry the sword around at all times you're not really going to make any progress, because typically there's one dragon just running around outside somewhere, and then the other two are locked up inside of castles. So if you're just making a point to carry the sword everywhere at all times, it's, you're not going to make a lot of progress. It's not going to be very... I mean, it's going to be very slow going. Hey, I can bring that black key too if I need it, but... There is one way to carry two items at a time. I'll just demonstrate it real quick, just because it won't take me more than a second is if you got two items lined up, you can carry them this way. But as you can see, that is very annoying. And it drives people crazy, so we're not going to do very much of that. But there are times you may want to do that, like if you've got a sword and a key and you need to get them both to the same place. The problem is, carrying them long distances, you'll probably almost never get them where you need to go before the bat comes along and grabs one. Okay, so with the dot down here, and a couple other items on the screen to make things flash, you can clip through this wall... And you get to see a message from the game's creator, created by Warren Robinette. That is one of the, if not the very first Easter egg ever in video games, because back when this game was made, and you can see how the world kind of fits together very strangely. Going up from here brings me to the Blue Maze, I don't know why. Back in the day, Atari did not allow their programmers and their artists and things to be credited in the games. I guess because they thought if people knew who they were, and they began to favor some programmers over others, they would have to pay them more. And Atari was a bunch of assholes, so this guy just snuck his name into Adventure, and that, that was pretty awesome. This is a great screen. But you know what? We don't need great screens. We need to finish the game, which means we need to get the cup inside the castle. Technically, the cup's already inside the castle, but in order to really <laughs> win the game at this point, we are going to have to find a bridge, which is all the way back up here still in the Black Castle. I cannot believe I got all three dragons to, uh... pretty much just line up and take it right at the beginning of the LP here. That was very fortuitous indeed. And where is... my bridge? There it is. How do I get to it from here? Hmm. In one of my test plays, I kid you not, I was in Game Variation 3. Oh, it was on the other side of that wall. That's no good. Um, I have to figure this... I'll figure this out, I think. I hope so. There it is. Yay! But I got into a situation where all the dragons were chasing me like that, but I didn't have a sword! And so the green dragon ate me, and then the yellow dragon came along and he ate me, and then the red dragon came along and he ate me too, so like every dragon got a meal off of my little square guy, and it was awful. Get away from your black key. I don't need you. And the first thing I thought was, man, that sucked, and then the second thing I thought is, man, I wish I would have recorded that, because that would have been a great video. Um... Yeah, no. no, I don't want you. I want this bridge. <sighs> you just flew off with my cup again! Yeah! <laughs> this is just bizarre. What's happening here? 
Oh, I guess if you have too many items on the screen, it won't let you clip at all. Alright, I'm gonna carry, a s <laughs> carry the sword around, I guess, until I see the bat again. Hey, bat, I have this yummy sword for you. I'll trade you for a holy grail. Because I want to win the game. <laughs> I don't know where he went. Man, like I said, if he went off and got stuck on a strange, like, screen somewhere and somewhere I can't reach him, then it's very possible <laughs> this game is now unwinnable. Oh, where did he go? This blows. <laughs> I don't need the bridge anymore. I've already done everything I can do with the bridge. I need the bat. The, you know what? The bat is... No, there he is! Ha ha ha! I thought he was gone, but nope, there he was. So I will just take this back to the castle now. And we can win the game. Yeah, yeah! Congratulations, guys. You have now seen everything there is to see about adventure. I have been Brick Road. This has been a short LP, but sometimes short is sweeter. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.